Okay, and we are back. I already did everything that I said I was gonna do. Oops. We actually need to put on our bunny hood on this side real quick. So you might notice, right now I am swordless. I gave my sword to the blacksmith, so he's gonna keep it until the next morning. I also slowed down time back down, and additionally, I got the heart piece from uh, using the title deed. So right now I have the mountain title deed. Come on, and let's go. We need to use the Goron mass here to hop through some ramps. We are vulnerable to snowballs while rolling, so I'll just keep it going. Unfortunately, I made a slight error here, but it won't matter in the short term. But I forgot there's actually a statue here. I'm really hoping I can just do this, maybe. Oh, come on. Nope, it just goes through. It's fine. But uh, we need our ocarina. Uh, no. There you go. I need to listen to the notes real quick to get it. So if you wear the lens of truth, you'll notice there's a Goron over there. That is the, actually the cause of certain winds in this valley. So you have to put him to sleep. Obviously. And he falls off. So now we need to just roll our way through from the snowballs. A bit of a thin bridge here. And I fail. Luckily, it doesn't even hurt us, so... If you're inclined to do so, you can also... Oh, well, I might just do it this time because I suck. Yeah, you can just walk the, uh, the way through. But I'm a pro. This took me two tries. Or three tries, rather. Alright, see you later, Wolfos. Uh, no thanks, I'm dealing with you. So you wanna just keep yourself, uh... I might slow down right around here, though, after the snowball. So here, we're at Snowhead Temple. Even if you somehow got in here without the Goron mask, Gonna take more than average strength to move this thing. Well, uh, we got more than that average strength. Leave me alone, little balls. Yeah, get screwed. All right, we got a little smack there on that. All right, I believe we want to take the right. Tattles like slippery edges, you can curl up and roll. Why don't you try it? Yeah, I kind of might have already figured that on your own. But the uh, main things we were going to have to use are our bow, the Goron mask, sometimes the lens of truth, and sometimes some bombs. But uh, for now, we want to actually use the Goron mask here. To make this jump. And that box is conveniently placed there, so we get stopped. Get some arrows here. So now here's the actual main part of the temple. This big room with a bunch of ramps and snow and walkways. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to pull this one off in one episode. Probably not, but uh, I will try it. Alright, so we're going to the lower floor here. I believe uh, somewhere around here. No, we need to... There's a button here somewhere. There it is. We press that with our Goron weight. 
And also, Gorons, I don't think they're immune to lava, but uh, you can resist them temporarily. Also, I don't know how this chest doesn't, uh, uh, you know, melt. Just so I don't have to be running around in a circle here. Come on, little fairy. I don't want to step on the lava, please. Just come over to me. Oh my god, my frames. Alright. So now that we got that, uh, we're just gonna go back up. Alright, so there's only one real way to go from here, so we're gonna take it for now. Which is this door over here. You might notice a lot of frozen areas and you might be thinking I needed to bring some spring water, but no, you don't need that. Oh right, I don't have my sword. Also, when you don't have a sword, you're obviously defenseless as basic link, but luckily we have the Goron mask, so we can just, you know, punch our way through trouble. I believe we wanna, yeah, we wanna push this uh, across here. So we have a bit of a jump to make here later on. I believe right there is fine, right? Yeah, it should be right. Actually, no, we want to push it one more over just in case. Oh, there we go. There's actually a chest involved with that. And you might notice, uh, this block was actually hiding a little doorway here. And what do I get? Probably a small key. Yep. Okay, so... Now we're gonna... Go back to the room over here. Ow, I rolled into the door. Cool. There is another door we can grab here. Also, there's a stray fairy right there. Um, let me double check something. Okay, there's no secret there blocking our way, so we can just uh, do this. Come on, little fairy. So we're gonna make this jump to go to the uh, second floor. Uh, put a funny bit back on. Oh, I have to take that off. Uh, so we got this room right here. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Oh, alright, I need bombs for that. But I can get rid of you if I, uh... There we go. I believe we have, uh, some secret here. Yeah, right there. Stray Fairy just chilling and being invisible. Also, there's some platforms and there's a chest chilling right here. I want this chest, uh... Oops, uh, sorry. I think this is gonna be the compass. No, it's the dungeon map. So now we have the full dungeon view. Which is four floors. When I get the compass, we already got three fairies, which is actually pretty nice. So now that we got the map, we can figure out the area a little better. And it might be a little... Actually, let me drop here before... I actually... Oh, just drop down, please. I believe there's another stray fairy in this room, but... Uh... uh... I don't remember which side it is. It's not this side, that's for sure. It's this side. No, it's not. The game's just trolling me. <laughs> Alright, get on the ladder, please. So we'll get, we'll get that Stray Fairy later, uh, I think the emulation is kind of messing with the, um, what's it called? 
with the uh, visual effect there of being invisible. So we'll just avoid you and go through this door. Actually, we'll uh, yeah, keep going the long way. We'll get this chest real quick. I want to say there's the compass. Yes, uh, that is the compass. So now we know where stuff is. Uh, can we punch this? No. We need a bomb. You might notice that Goros can't use most of the items here. I managed to hit his bag, so we gotta... So it's night time as well, so... One thing I do want to do before I uh, forget is also we want to head to Clock Town a little before midnight to see if I can save the old lady. I actually don't know if I can save her without my sword, but I will attempt it. I want to say that's an invisible ledge. Yep. Can't even see what's... Oh boy. Not me to do that. But uh, there's a stray fairy there. Um, let's see, we got that door locked. I think I need uh, my bow. I think there's something on the ceiling, right? Yes, there's uh, breakable stuff here. We need to hit all the icicles. Please. Uh, it's annoying that I'm going to have to watch the cussing for each of these, so let's just hit all of them once. Actually, I might not need that last one over there. Well, maybe they do. I'm running out of arrows, though, but hopefully that uh, those snowballs behind me will uh, give me some. There we go. We got all of them. So, you might notice there is a chest in this room. Oh, well, thanks for jumping over that link. There should be a small key that we'll use right away. No, oh, just rupees, huh? Come on. There we go. Just a little bit. I don't need a lot of arrows. Alright, so this room's gonna be annoying for a little while, but basically you need to jump on this and do the pound attack. this again. So we have a timer this time. So we wanna get on this one real quick. I should have just walked backwards. What am I doing? I'm just throwing here, am I? Well, that was closer than I should have been. Alright. So now we're in this room. You might recognize where we are. We're in the uh, second floor. Yeah, we're on the second floor of the middle room. So, what we want to do is, uh, is Goron roll across here. And we want to roll over here real quick, like, and go in this room. So we're on the second floor of this room. We can't really do much, I think. Oh, there we go. Alright, um, I'm kind of wasting a little bit of time overall, but it's fine for this. So I want to use the Lens of Truth here to hop on these little platforms. 
Just take it slow. You don't need to go full speed to make these jumps. Just do a little forward on the stick. Make sure to just turn. We get a straight parry. And we can make that jump all the way across. And that's it for this room. The only other thing is you would be using that, um... Okay, right here. I believe we can, uh, let's see. Now that we're over here, we want to roll across again. Do it that way. You might notice the snow over there as well. Come on, uh, whatever. I believe this is the mini boss of this one. Yep. We fight a Wizdrove, I believe is what they're called. Dang it. So I'm going too quick. I need to wait for him to completely form. So he does this crazy flurry there for whatever reason. So we want to use Tattle to figure out where we are, but you can also use the map to kind of cheat. So it's this one over here. Well, I got him and he got me. But uh, we're gonna get our treasure item for the dungeon. It's something very, very useful. We get fire arrows. So we can use magic to shoot fire arrows now. Which is uh, what we're gonna need right here. I want to melt the ice over there. I believe, uh... Hopefully we can get some magic here. Yeah, you don't need to pick these up. Well, I got arrows, that's useful enough. No, I'm not gonna make that, am I? I need to start from the very beginning. There we go. There we go, full magic, that's all I really wanted. So we get a little ramp here for safety, but I believe on the next floor up, you can't uh, do this. There has to, you have to actually roll across every time. Which you actually might see right here, actually. Let's see here. Yep, right here. I'm gonna have to roll it. Fortunately, I do not have a key, so this is kind of moot. But, uh, let me see here. We can go down to the bottom and melt that ice. And actually, I see something we can do right here if we're crazy. By lying us up. Nope, I missed it. Well, I only lost one, it's fine. Excuse moi. Alright, we can melt down this door now, though, at least. And also this door over here. And this one over here. So we're gonna visit a couple rooms we haven't been to at all. With one exception, I think. But anyways. Let's go to the red one first. So the red one leads us back to the beginning. Oh, come on, lock onto him, dude. Come on, attack me, dude. There we go. Actually, there's something we can do real quick in this room now. Come on, give me some magic. Thank you. So now we can melt that ice, and I believe that's the direction we wanted to... Oh, well. 
Not what I wanted the game, thanks. Apparently I didn't roll at the right spot. Let's see, it's 8, about to be 9 p.m. You know what, I'm just gonna skip on saving the old lady probably, unfortunate. Because since I didn't get the, uh, the owl statue by the temple, that's gonna be a big hassle. But what we can do here is melt this ice real quick. The fire arrows also one shot these guys, I wanna say. Yep. Really? Oh, dude! The game's just trolling me right now. But basically, there's two rewards for the old lady. Once a mask and once the ability to buy a big bong ba bomb bag at the, uh, the shop, one, uh, at the bomb shop, once you save her. Alright, so, now that we're on the correct side right here, you might be thinking, like, why, why is this even a thing? So, we need basic arrows and the lens of truth. I want to say it was like right around here, right? Or maybe not. Ah, there we go. It's right around here. Yeah. Or not. I'm cra Am I crazy? Oh, I know why. Okay, I'm, I'm just dumb. I need to kill that guy over there. Because we get a chest along with it. The chest would be blocked if there was ice. I believe there's a small key, hopefully. Yep, there we go. I was like, I remember something about having to melt the ice, so it's not optional, it's actually required. Whoa, I almost fell. Okay, so what side is it? Ah, there we go, it's that side. So I could have gotten it from the bottom. I just was not at the right angle, I guess. Right there. Come on, little fairy, hurry up. So we are at number six. Alright, so we're gonna go to the room to the left here, or across at this point, to uh, melt some ice and get some stuff done. Alright. Excuse me, sir. I don't have time for you. So... Actually, I didn't even need to melt that one. I'm stupid. Anyways. Come on, attack me, dude. There we go. So, this one, I believe, is just a basic button. Oh, no, it's a big, oh, it's a basic button. Okay. So that just makes a chest up here. That should be a stray fairy. Uh, the reason I equip bombs is we want to break that box. One, two, three, four. Ah, a little late. One, two, three, four. There we go. Alright, I don't think I'll need bombs anymore at this point. Alright, and we want to push uh, this block around. Ah, grab it, please. I want to 
push it this way. Get that chest. Well, that was close, huh? Okay, now we want to push it over there so we can get our, uh... Alright, cool. Push it this way. Ah, oh, come on. No. Just grab the block, please. So the next cycle I'll save the old lady. I know that's kind of mean, but you know. Some decisions uh, affect the others. There we go. Alright, so now that we're over here, we can now finally claim this chest. Oh, if my if Link doesn't, you know, be stupid. Uh, that's just, that's annoying. But I guess we'll take this chance to get through um, one of these other doors. I'll go through the blue one. Let me see. I don't think I've been through this one, have I? Oh, it's this one. Whoops. Let's go to the orange one. Oh, the orange one's this one. So we want to go to the green one. There we go. I haven't been in this room. Okay, so we want to kill all these guys so they are not in the way. We get also our chest for it. Another straight fairy, pretty obviously. But we also want to light all the torches, so we want to just hit these shots. Oh, I missed that one. Aw, oh, dang. I'm gonna have to do that, aren't I? Let's get the fairy just in case I fail my, uh... There we go. Magic. Some more magic. Alright. So we're gonna want our Deku stick, I think, then. Alright, just to make sure. Is there no other fire source in this room? No, it's just the three torches. There we go. Off center, but uh, we got it. So now we have this button here. Might be wondering what will this do exactly. Well, I'm gonna show you guys. This will raise the big platform in the middle. And this will also raise the button at the bottom. Actually, uh, I want to actually go to the bottom real quick. Not ideal, but oh. Alright, nice, some arrows. There we go, some magic. And that's just to get back up if you messed up. But I mostly just wanted to get a refill for my arrows, so the Deku form actually gets a little bit of use here. If you uh, mess up. There's also a a point where you'll actually use it at the end. Yep. 
There's gonna be a lot of switching back and forth, unfortunately. Okay, so at this point, I kind of blocked myself in certain ways, but um, we want to go through the red door now. We're back at the beginning. We're gonna go for the chest that we missed earlier, real quick. Fortunately, I do have to push this again. Luckily, it's only two blocks this time. Leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone, dude. Okay, hopefully I don't mess this up this time. There we go. And yeah, flying pots. Alright, so we actually want to go back, so I don't want to take the long route, so there we go. So this time, we actually want to go up a floor. And we actually want to take the uh, exit here. Oh my, why did I even climb that? So we can actually now just take a shortcut here by melting the ice. So we don't have to do the puzzle again. Oh, there's a straight fairy in here, huh? Oh, I think I know where it is. Let me get some uh, basic arrows and this. Where are you? Ah, there it is. Ceiling. Come on, little fairy. I'm right here, dude. What are you doing? Alright. Got number 11. Alright, so I'll just show one more thing before I stop this episode. So, you might notice these particular blocks. So what you want to do with these is actually give them a good old punch. Because these will let us access certain parts of the room once the, we get all of them. But anyways, I'm going to stop right here and finish up the temple on the next episode, guys. So I'll see you guys then.